Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 11 on a non-compatible AMD processor or on a PC that does not have TPM 2.0 supported. I'm going to be running through this pretty quick, so if you want to slow down the video and go step by step, you can or you can try to keep up. So let's get started. The first programs that we're going to need are the PC Health Check program, uh, Rufus, which is a bootable uh, media creation tool. We need the Windows 11 ISO, and then we need a media creation bat uh, that I'll provide a link to in the description. So in order to get started, we first wanna see and check and see if our PC is capable of running Windows 11. Again, if it says that it's not, that's totally okay. So we're going to open up the Windows 11 website. I will post this link in the description. Once we are on the website, we want to download the PC Health Check app so just click on the link here. It'll download an installer and follow the instructions to install. Once that's installed, you can open the PC Health Check application and you want to look under introducing Windows 11, press check now. You'll see here that my computer does not support TPM 2.0 and in certain instances, my PC also said that my uh, processor was not supported. This may have been updated in the most recent Windows update um, to be supported. But nevertheless, TPM is still not supported or enabled, and this will not allow me to install Windows 11 on my PC. So in order to get around that, we need to do a couple of things. The first thing we want to do is download this media creation tool. I'll post a link in the description below. It's on GitHub. And if this link ever goes down, please leave a comment in the description, and I'll re-upload it to a different link uh, for those in the future that need it. Once you're on the GitHub website, you're going to click on code and press download zip. Once you download the zip, you're just going to extract it and open up the media creation bat uh, folder. Once you're in here, click on MCT and then you'll see this no 11 setup checks on dynamic update. You're going to double click on that to open it. Now you may get a message saying that Windows Defender has blocked uh, the application from running. There should be a little button that says see more info or um, proceed. Just click on it and allow the program to run. Uh, essentially what the program does is it forces the Windows 11 installer to skip the check for TPM and, and a supported processor. Once you have uh, double clicked on that and run the batch file, we're going to need to install the Windows 11 ISO. So again, I'll post this link in the description. You're going to navigate to the Windows 11 download page, scroll all the way down to the bottom, download, download Windows 11 disk image, select Windows 11 and download. If it does give you the option, download the, the X64 bit version. You should receive this ISO on your desktop. It's about five and a quarter gigabytes, uh, Win 11 English X64. After you have that downloaded, we also want to download Rufus, which is a bootable media uh, creation tool. I'll post the link in the description for that as well. Navigate to the Rufus website, scroll down. There's a download section. Download the, the newest version of Rufus. Once you have everything downloaded, the only other thing you'll need is a blank USB drive. It needs to be at least five and a half gigabytes to, to install the ISO onto it. Um, and once you have that, you want to open up Rufus itself. You can see here, once I opened up Rufus, it provided me with my device, which is my USB drive. If yours isn't listed there, just click the down arrow. There should be, it should be on the list. In the boot selection category, we want to make, make sure that it says disk or ISO image, and then we want to press select. When you press select, you want to navigate to your Windows 11 ISO that we downloaded, click on it and press open. Leave everything else the same or copy what I've done here. And once you're sure that all of it is correct, just hit start. It may take a couple of minutes for the ISO to extract and the media content creation um, tool to create the actual uh, bootable drive. Once it's done, you can close this program. Now, if you navigate to your PC and navigate to your flash drive, you'll see here that um, Windows 11 has been placed on the flash drive. You want to double click to open and double click to run setup. Now setup may take a little bit to uh, run since it's pulling everything off of the USB drive, but there's an important step in here that is skipped now that wasn't skipped before, 
which essentially checks to see if TPM is installed on your computer. And since we ran that batch file, uh, when this installer is no longer searching for that, which means that you should be able to install Windows 11 no problem. If you did this before you ran that batch tool, while you're, win while you're running Windows 11 setup, you can see here, the PC must support TPM 2.0. So it says it failed. Hypothetically, if I close this and I go back into my media creation tool, MCT, no 11 setup checks on, on dynamic update, we can run that, skip TPM check on dy dynamic update, run again to remove. The problem why it just didn't work for me is because I ran it once before this and it must have removed it when I ran it again. So now if I go back to setup and run it, we should not receive that, that message. And there you go, we've already passed that step where it said that um, TPM wasn't supported. It's gathering all of the updates for Windows 11 to apply uh, once it uh, downloads and installs the initial um, version of Windows 11. And that should be everything. If you guys are having any other issues, please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.